Hey guys, Jeffrey Leon. Welcome to this edition of Satan's Strategic Command, dedicated to the advancement of Christian theology, explicating uh, the mark of the beast. May God bless the reading of His holy word. Um, this is the thirty lesson number thirty-five that um, um, that I'm going to post on YouTube. And uh, uh, in these lessons, we have been talking extensively, extensively about Revelation 6, 17. Um, Revelation 17 is probably what I've touched on um, more um, than any other uh, passage of Scripture um, consistently throughout all of these lessons. Um, it's the Revelation verses 3 and 4 are the depiction of um, the beast um, um, and um, the harlot and the dragon. Um, that has seven heads and ten horns and uh, 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 the passages I saw and I saw a woman set upon a scholar colored colored beast scholar colored excuse me scholar colored colored beast full of names of blasphemy having seven heads and ten horns and the woman was arrayed in purple purple and scarlet color and, and decked with gold and precious stones and pearls having a golden cup in her hand full of full of abominations and filthiness of her fornication so we've and I actually I've explicated um, um, the symbols that are depicted here and I've 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 edified you guys and told you guys um, which is edification means to give knowledge and instruction and enlightenment um, um, I've I've expounded explicitly on past lessons what all these symbols mean in this particular passage of scripture um, Revelation 17 is um, um, one of the most dangerous and disastrous and horrifying passages of scripture it's literally it's it's um, uh, it's the the entire culmination of the body of death that's going into eternal darkness and condemnation and it'll be just like they were never born as depicted in Obadiah 15 and 16 um, um, I personally don't believe that people burn in the lake of fire forever because as Revelation um, 20 is specifically uh, makes clear as that the lake of fire occurs on the earth and we know that by Revelation um, 65 excuse me Isaiah 65 that um, the earth is recreated anew like the Garden of Eden and there's many other passages that depict this so I don't believe that people burn forever I believe that once the fire is done its work then the fire goes out and their people are are punished with everlasting destruction they're punished with the effects of the fire not with the the fact that they're going to burn for eternity so um, uh, but it's um, I have it just massively I mean Revelation 17 I've touched on that more than any other topic in all of these lessons and it's just it's threaded throughout every single lesson that I've I've that we've gone through the, the, the last 34 lessons that that that, um, that we've discussed here so um, uh, I wrote here that um, the beast is the fullness of satanic power residing in the hearts of men and um, um, this is explicated here it's it's uh, the culmination of satanic fulfillment it's the the manifestation of a person that has the mark of the beast but it's the actually it's the entire conglomeration of all the people it's um, the beast is is um, um, the body it's the body of death it's it's like the church is um, the bride as the church has a symbol as um, um, the woman arrayed in white robes which is symbolic of her holiness and her union with God Revelation 19 7 and 8 and the beast is the flip side of that it's the great harlot as manifested in Revelation 17 3 and 4 and it's the the the, the fullness of satanic power residing in the hearts of men. The mark of the beast is an individual that has that particular power residing and and seated and sealed within the, that that seal of eternal condemnation so the angels which are the reapers can discern in Matthew chapter 13 this the seal of God and the mark of the beast or so the angels that come to harvest at the end of the world can distinguish between the wheat and the tares and the sheep and the goats it's the it's the spiritual manifestation it's it's not an outward sign now there are outward um, um, manifestations of of this um, um, this mark residing on people, but first and foremost, it's spiritual and it's it's designed so that um, um, the angels, which are the reapers, which are the angels, can discern between the righteous and the wicked on on the day of judgment, on the final day of of um, just before Christ returns. So.
when they come to harvest the earth. So um, the beast is the fullness of satanic power residing in the hearts of men. And we see this in, in Ezekiel chapter 28. This is an, it's, it's, it's an exact facsimile of satanic rebellion as Satan rebelled um, in the kingdom of heaven. And uh, uh, the word of God states... Um, Ezekiel 28, 11 through 13. Moreover, moreover the word of, word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Son of man, take up a lamentation upon the king of Tyrus, and say unto him, Thus saith the Lord God, Thou sealest up the sum full of wisdom and perfect and beauty. Thou hast been eaten in the garden of God. Every precious stone was thy covering. The sardas, the topaz, and the diamond, the barrel, the olive, and the jasper, the sapphire, the emerald, emerald and the carbuncle and gold, the workmanship of thy tabrets, tabrets and of thy pipes was prepared in thee in the day that thou was created. Thou art the anointed cherub that covereth and I have set thee so. Thou wast upon the holy mountain of God, and thou hast walked up and down in the midst of stones of fire. This entire passage in Ezekiel um, verses 11 through 19 is the depiction of um, um, Lucifer's um, original uh, state, and uh, before um, um, and and uh, before he rebelled, and why while he was rebelling, and why um, while he was forming his own. Uh, governmental institution and rebellion against God in the courts of heaven and we know why he did because the passage um, um, states that um, um, that heart was lifted up because of thy beauty thou hast corrupted thy wisdom by reason of thy brightness in verse 17 so we know that Lucifer he was filled with pride and he 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 formed a rebellion against God in the courts of heaven and so what we're seeing happen now here on earth is an exact facsimile of that and so the Bible depicts this as the beast it's people that are becoming more um, more in control by their flesh and Satan and becoming more dead inside their souls are, are deadening by by the Bible says to mortify your members which are upon the earth fornication fornication uncleanness um, 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 and unholiness and and all the the lust of flesh lust eyes and the pride of life all the things that that lead people satanic criminal psychop psychopathology that lead people away from God and, and instead of to him and, and we went over this um, in the previous les lesson that it's depicted in um, Galatians chapter 5. Now the works of the flesh are the manifest which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idly, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulation, wrath, strife, sedition, heresies. And it goes on, envyings, murders, drunkenness, and the like. And, and people that do these things will not inherit the kingdom of God. So, um, um, but these people people love these things it's you know we're all sinners we're all sinners and that's what we're trying to do we're trying to overcome satanic power um, um, we are overcoming satanic power by the power of the gospel of Jesus Christ and the shed blood of Christ we're absolutely overcomers so um, um, but we yield the, the, the greatest war that ever was fought um, in a man's soul the prophet said is 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 surrendering their will and their time and their, their time attention their affections to uh, the commands and the glory and the grace and the love of God so so they can be made into the image and the glory of God and manifest that they can receive the love of God um, vertically and manifest that horizontally amongst men so um, but the satanic power uh, the beast is the fullness of satanic power residing in the hearts of men Ezekiel 28 11 through 13 and um, it's actually um, um, on earth it's it's Satan's government it's Satan's uh, uh, authoritative rule and when I say authority his right to impose obligation his people that he's compelled his people to 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 serve him Romans 6 16 know ye not to, to whom you yourself servants to obey servants you are to whom you obey whether of sin or death unto death or obedience unto righteousness and people aren't cognizant of their eternal reward and that's why the first passage of that scripture says know you not because none of us are fully cognizant you know like I said um, the psychologist I read a psychologist wrote the other day no person is more conscious of his sin than people that are righteous and no no person is more righteous than uh, a sinner a criminal that 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 is that is not manifestly righteous you know and so um, it's a manifestation um, the beast and the fullness of satanic power residing in the hearts of men is a manifestation of satanic rebellion here on earth it's Satan's form of his government and that's what the symbol represents in Revelation 17 3 and 4 um, I wrote 2 Corinthians 15 24 through 26 is another um, um, this is another manifestation this is this is 
the 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 affirmation of what I'm telling you is true. It says, um, um, one Corinthians fifteen twenty four through twenty six. Then cometh the end. This is it's and then it's, that's what it is. It's a sign of the end times. Uh, um, um, the manifestation of the beast power and the spirit of antichrist operating in in people uh, now today. It says, then cometh the end when he shall deliver up the kingdom to God, even the Father, when he shall have put down all rule and all authority and power. He for he must reign till he hath put all enemies under his feet. The last enemy that shall be destroyed is death. So. Um, um, Satan's presence and power it's Satan's presence and power concealed in a fraudulent cloak of righteousness it's that's the harlot Satan's that's the manifestation that's the highest manifestation of righteousness that's concealing actually a con concealing Satan's presence and purpose and his power and we talked at this about this in the previous lesson we talked about um, 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 how um, Satan's um, 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 is attempting now to conceal um, um, his his presence in the the Christian congregations. He's actually attempting try to try to seat himself as he see is he's is he's yield he's he's sealing himself in people's hearts. He's trying to seat in the Christian congregations, and he's trying to to um, bring, he's calling his false prophets. Through 1 Timothy 6.10, the love of money is the root of all evil. The root of all evil, which while some covered after they have erred from the faith and pierced themselves through with many sorrows. And so now he's actually soliciting the body of Christ with money. And he's he's attempting to, he's calling his false prophets to, to conceal his presence and his purpose and his power within the Christian congregations. And the highest manifestation of that would be to kill another human being. And then, of course, it would be rape and child molestation and child pornography and so forth. And then we just go down to the list. That's Those would be, in my mind, would be the three, the three highest manifestations of Satan's power and presence. Um, um, seated in the hearts of men so and then um, are sealed in the hearts of men and then of course he's trying to seat himself in the congregation so um, um, 2 Corinthians 11 13 through 15 says uh, for such are false apostles deceitful workers transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ and no marvel for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light therefore it is no great thing if his ministers also be Transformed as the ministers of righteousness, whose end shall be according to their works. And we talked to this in four or five of the half a dozen of the lessons. We talked about um, um, Satan's great and tactical greatest tactical advantage over men is concealment within a fraudulent position of righteousness within man. It's poison disguised as lemonade. And one of the first ways that you can discern this, there's actually a body. There's actually a body of, of, of the beast has, has appeared. The spirit of Antichrist is operational now in the United States of America. They are spearheading um, the movement of concealing the beast and his power and his works within the body of Christ and within the, the United States population. The Bible makes it very clear in Obadiah. Um, um, it's, it's actually Obadiah 3 and 4 and Revelation uh, 13, 11 that um, the, the beast first and foremost appears. Now, it's a worldwide movement, but it first and foremost appears in the United States. And it's the ideology of the satanic criminal psychopathology first appears in the United States. Obadiah 3, 4. The pride of thine heart hath deceived me, thou that dwelleth in a cleft of the rock, whose habitation is high, who saith in thine heart, who shall bring me down to the ground? Um, I will exalt myself above the stars of God. Oh, let's see. Who shall bring me down to the ground? For thou saith in thine heart. Um, let's see. Though thou exalt thyself as an eagle, though they set thyself. Um, um, the, oh, excuse me, Obadiah 3 4. The pride of thine heart hath deceived thee, thou that dwellest in the clefts of the rock, whose habitation is high, that saith in, the, in, in his heart, Who shall bring me down to the ground? Though thou exalt thyself as an eagle, though they, thou set thy nest among the stars, thence will I bring thee down, saith the Lord. So this is a clear, this is this is actually, and this what this passage is also saying also, is that when the beast appears, this is what actually, this is part of the power that brings satanic and the, the antichrist and the fullness. Um, um, the dragon 
um, um, the beast being the fullness of satanic power. It, it's being the, the harlot, the great harlot, and, and then the manifestation of the fact that, that um, um, the spirit of Antichrist has fallen from the heavens and it's become naturalized. It's, 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 uh, um, um, it's the beast is the manifestation of the king, the presence of the king. And so that's this passage is also depicting that. It's saying that, that once the beast appears, and and the, the the beast power appears and it works. It start work. It starts working as poison described as lemonade to poison the children of God. Romans three thirteen. Um, um, their throat is an open sepulchre. With their tongues they have used deceit, and the poison of ass is under their lips. Once this power appears, and we know it appears in the United States. Once this power appears, this power is partly responsible for the natural manifestation of the Antichrist. And that's what this passage is saying in Obadiah um, 3 and 4. So, um, but Satan's greatest tactical advantage over men is concealment within a fraudulent position of righteousness, within a cloak of righteousness within man. And uh, this is the image to the beast that's that's manifested in Revelation 13 through 15. And we discussed this at length in the lesson before this, where it says, um, um, 13, 15 says, and he had power to give life unto the image of the beast, that the image of the beast should both speak and should cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. So this is, an, this is um, ultimately um, this power, this beast power that shows up, the image to the beast that shows up eventually um, perfects its image, its satanic, its its worship of the king, and it doesn't know this worship of the king, and it doesn't know what that, that Satan is seated in its heart, but it's it perfects its its um, worship of Satan by soliciting murders, and it's doing so now. It's poisoning the children of God right now in this country. I mean, there and it's 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 doing it all over the United States, and nobody's talking about it. And that's part of the satanic power that it has over men is that it comes in and it it solicits the the murder of the children of God and nobody says anything about it because they're afraid of the power. And this, this is another manifestation of the passage that's depicted in Revelation 13 3. And I saw one of its heads as it was wounded to death and his deadly wound was healed and all the world wondered after the beast. Revelation 13 4 and, and which says uh, uh, And they worshiped the dragon, which gave power to the beast. And they worshiped the beast, saying, Who is like unto the beast? Who is able to make war with him? And this is happening now. Satan is soliciting. The, the beast power is soliciting as poison disguised as lemonade. Satan concealed in their heart in a fraudulent position of righteousness. They're, they're, they're soliciting the poisoning and the, the murders of the children of God right now. And nobody's talking about it because the sat this satanic power has a fraudulent cloak of righteousness and people are afraid of it because it's making war with the children of God and it's concealed within a fraudulent cloak of righteousness. And it's, it's, it's actually, it's warring right now against the children of God and it's attempting to kill the children of God so and as 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 a manifestation of its power so people won't bring to light John 8 12 I'm the light of the world he that follows me shall not walk in darkness but shall have the light of life so people won't bring to life murder it's murders and it's rapes and it's aggravated sexual abuse of God's children. It's trying to hide this in the body of Christ right now. It's calling, it's soliciting the false prophets, the 1 Timothy 6.10, to, 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 um, um, uh, to incorporate and to, to manifest um, 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 its war against the children of God. So. Um, the beast in fullness is the fullness of satanic power residing in the hearts of men. Um, uh, uh, the image is the great tactical advantage, the concealment of fraudulent righteousness, the poison disguised as lemonade um, within man and within um, the body of Christ, then, or within man, and... Uh, uh, um, um, concealing the adjective, concealing his presence, power um, by the fraudulent cloak of righteousness, is the manifestation of the harlot. It's it's the false prophet concealing satanic power ultimately within a fraudulent manifestation of the body of Christ. So, um, the mark of the beast is the spirit of antichrist blinding all flesh 
to Satan's presence among men. That's the mark. That's the that's the full manifestation of the mark of the beast. Is when and that's that's the miracle that the beast performs, and that's what he's performing right now because everybody's scared. Nobody wants to talk about the fact that the spirit of Antichrist is soliciting murders of the children of God right now. He's soliciting murder so he can conceal murder, rape, and aggravated sexual abuse of God's children in a fraudulent cloak of righteousness. So the mark of the beast is the spirit of Antichrist blinding all flesh to Satan's presence among men. And we see this passage depicted in Revelation 16, 14, where the word of God says, For they are spirits of devils, working miracles, which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world, to gather them to the battle of that great day of God Almighty. Because nobody, this is these are the miracles that the beast power is performing right now. He's going right all, all throughout society within, he's co-mingling with the children of men, people that are passively receiving um, the, um, the manifestation of God's righteousness in their hearts with the fruit of the Spirit, love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meets their temperance against those. There's no law. Galatians 5, 22 and 23. He's going out and he's soliciting murders and nobody's talking about the fact openly that this power is soliciting murders. And the Bible depicts that this is one of his greatest powers. This is his great tactical advantage. And this is a miracle that he performs in the sight of God among the children of men. This is a miracle that he performs. The fact that he can conceal the fact that he's soliciting murders and nobody's talking about it. Nobody's getting up on the nightly news and saying, hey, we got a problem here because there's a group of people in this city that's soliciting and it's they're soliciting the, the murder of the children of God and it's poison disguised as lemonade. They're po they are poison disguised as lemonade. They're the concealment of a fraudulent cloak of righteousness. They are the image to the beast. They're the beast power and they're the highest manifestation of the mark of the beast that we have currently. And until you know, they're the manifestation of the fact in Obadiah 3, 4 that Satan is present among us. He's present among us and we know that by Isaiah 59, 9 and 10 that people that conceal, willingly conceal Satan's presence in their hearts and in their thoughts, their affections and their imaginations and in their lives, they're not cognizant that Satan is with them, that Satan is right there walking close with them because if they knew that that judgment was residing the judgment of god was residing upon their flesh that they're you know they're just moments away from going into eternal blackness and darkness by the power of god and then that wicked shall be revealed whom the lord shall consume with the spirit of his mouth and by the brightness of his coming 2 thessalonians chapter 2 they don't know that judgment's coming and that um um revelation 20 11, and i saw a great and i saw a great right throne that him that sat on it from whom the heaven and the earth fled away, and there was found no place for them. They're not they're not cognizant of the fact that God's getting ready to come and that death is residing and operational in their hearts, Romans 7, 12 through 14, and that they're getting ready to be judged. And they're it's a bit just like they were never born. They're going into eternal damnation. You know, John 5, 25 through uh, 29. They're, they're condemned souls. They have the mark of the beast. So they're not cognizant of that. And uh, Isaiah 59, 9 and 10 makes that absolutely crystal clear. And there's numerous other passages. Uh, Proverbs 4, 18 and 19. Um, the, the, but the path of the just is a shining light that shineth more and more in the perfect day. But the way of the wicked is as darkness. They know not at what they stumble. They're going into, uh, 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 they're being bound, uh, Matthew 13, 13. Uh, 1330 into one great body of death the the tares and the goats and they're going into uh, uh, eternal condemnation and they're not cognizant of it they just think it's a, it's something that you know it's just a passive manifestation of their subjugation of other people that that they don't like that you know they want to solicit murders and rape women and molest kids and they're soliciting people to conceal their works in the United States population right now so it's the people that are going away from, from God and cognizance and, and, and cognizance of God's presence, Hebrews 11.1. 1. Faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. It's cognizance of God's goodness and presence. And they're serving death by degrees. They're, they're going slowly um, by degree, step by step. 
um, Proverbs 4.18, as, as, as we grow closer and closer in, in, in cognizance of God's goodness and presence, they're going, clo- they're going farther and farther away from God, and they're serving Satan more and more by degrees until they finally, they just say, okay, well, we're going to let this group of people um, commit murders, rape women, and molest kids. We're going to let them get away with it because, you know, they're just poison disguised as lemonade. They're poisoning, they're, mur- they're soliciting the murders of the children of men right now, and we don't know how to deal with it, you know, and, and so we're just going to let them do what they do and go with the flow, you know, so, um, um, uh, and we the, the, this going away from God. This is why judgment comes. This is why, as the Bible depicts the um, the um, at the harvest at the end of the world and the signs of the ends of the times, which are famines, pestilence, earthquakes, and and so forth that Christ listed, um, listed. We know that these all these are the beginning of sorrows, is what Christ said in the passage. So all these are our contractions. They're the signs of the end of the world, and we know that death gets stronger. And um, um, it becomes more prevalent, you know, as in as as in people's surroundings, um, um, as we get closer. These are it's these are contractions. It's and what happens when women can, women has contractions? They get stronger and they get faster. And all these are contractions. Death is getting stronger, and 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 more powerful. And the, it's coming. Judgment's coming on people to to give them cognizance of the fact that God is still good and present, and that the survivors, you know, they need to get right with God because they're going into death if they don't. You know, Romans seven twelve through fourteen. Wherefore the law is holy, the commandment holy, just and good. Was then that that which is good made death unto me? God forbid sin that it might appear sin, working death in me by that which is good. Um, so we know that death is the ultimate form of the appearance of evil you know men are going to go so far they're going to they're going to hate god and they're going to commit small crimes and misdemeanors but when death comes death subdues everything death subdues all flesh that's how you keep all the prisoners in the prison house you know there's four towers on, at, on this prison you know and there's guards with rifles and that's death that's how that's why all the you know 500 inmates in the yard are not on the fence they're because they don't want to die they don't want to get shot so that's what god knows that god death is is a very good way to bring a carnal man and flesh back into cognizance of the fact that he's going to die if he doesn't get right with god so um um You know, the Bible says in uh, John three seventeen through 21, Men love darkness rather than light, because their deeds are evil. Whosoever doeth, doeth truth cometh to light, because... To, uh, because his deeds are made manifest and that they're wrought in God. So this is naturally what pe- evil people do. They don't want to get caught. Just as a criminal steals a candy bar or a, 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 a boy steals a candy bar, an adolescent or a teenager steals a candy bar out of 7-Eleven, it's the same thing with a man that's that's aggravating, sexually abusing an adolescent child. They're, they hide from the presence of God. They don't want the United States population to be cognizant of the fact that they're committing murders and they're raping women and they're 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 mass molesting adolescent children so this is just a manifestation it's an edenic manifestation of their shame and that the fact that they they know that there's that they're doing wrong but there's going to come a point to the fact in time that that they're going to reason in their own hearts that they're that they're righteous and they're committing in this judgment because the united states population is just a bunch of hypocrites so now we've got the murder board because none of these people are righteous they don't manifest the 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 righteous judgments of God and, and and righteousness in their lives so we have every right to to execute this wrath on them you know and this is just a manifestation the fact that this is how they're reasoning in their hearts and their minds that they're righteous while they're committing murders and they're raping people's wives and they're molesting people's children this is just a manifestation that the judgment of the heaven the pre-advent judgment um, which is a, a solely a seventh day Adventist doctrine that the pre-advent judgment is actually taking place now in the heavens so and it's a, a manifestation that that these men um, in their fraudulent cloak of righteousness are ready to kill other human beings to to fulfill the totally fulfill their own lust 1 John 2 15 through 18 so um, if you're edified by this lesson please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel to receive notifications of future installments and remember you can come to the throne of God and receive your healing directly Matthew chapter 13 
verses 10 and 11. Matthew chapter 13, verses 10, 11, 12, 14, and 15. Thank you so much.